Thomas Mudge was born in Exeter in 1715 and he was apprenticed in London to George Graham who of course had taken over by tradition from the business of Thomas Tompion with his definition of quality and so Mudge uh, was imbibed with quality early into his apprenticeship. When George Graham died uh, Mudge took over the business in 1751 and in 1759 uh, Mudge was commissioned by the King to make a watch for his wife, Queen Charlotte, and into this new watch he incorporated two new inventions, temperature compensation of the balance wheel, and most importantly, a lever escapement. And in 1765, he was on the board of a longitude committee that was formed to test the principles of John Harrison's chronometer, age four. And this reignited his interest into a marine, making a marine chronometer for himself. And in 1771, he handed over his London business to uh, his partner Dutton and went to Exeter to look after his elder brother, uh, who is unfortunately ill, and more importantly, to concentrate on making his first marine chronometer. He designed his first marine chronometer as an eight day mechanism, but the spring, the winding spring gave problems and it had to be limited only to two days uh, before it could be tested uh, for its accuracy in Greenwich in the Royal Observatory there. The Board of Longitude continually changed the goalposts and now required two identical chronometers for test for the longitude prize. Mudge took over seven years to construct his two new identical constant force mechanisms and he differentiated them by the color of the ray skin on each of the cases, green or blue. And it took something like uh, seven years for Mudge to make these two in the meanwhile, in 1776, he'd been appointed the royal watchmaker. Mudge was awarded 500 pounds from the Board of Longitude in 1777. Uh, Mudge was horrified and appealed to the government with a detailed pamphlet on the bias of the Astronomer Royal, masculine and a report of the House of Commons subcommittee on the matter awarded Mudge 3,000 pounds. Relations between the Board of Longitude and John Harrison had been bad enough, but the relations with Mudge were even worse, fought out in public with claim and counterclaim in these various pamphlets. Uh, Mudge died in 1794, uh, but both the chronometers, blue and green, have disappeared completely from the records. When Commander Gould looked into it, and he was the, the expert who had found and restored all the Harrison Sea clocks, um, he thought that Mudge Green had been lost at sea in a shipwreck. Well, this is Mudge Green.